friends welcome again to another session on factorization of algebraic expressions and in the series we are solving a lot of questions so that you become comfortable with problem solving comfortable with factorization of algebraic expressions so again we have been given this expression where it is x cube plus 3x square plus 3x minus 7 and uh, we have to you know factorize it right now have we learned anything where you know uh, or for that matter if you have to approach this what all do we know? We know splitting the middle term. We know how to take commons. We know how to use algebraic identities. So can something be used here? Now, if you notice, there are two threes here, this three and this three, and there's a cube term. Now, if you recall, our A plus B whole cube identity was what? Guys, A cube plus 3A square B plus 3AB square plus B cube, isn't it? Now, the same thing if it is, you know, uh, a plus 1 instead of now b as, uh, you know, if I can keep b as 1. So, what do you get? You get a cube plus 3a square plus 3a plus 1. Now, this is where I wanted to draw your attention, right? So, a plus 1 cube is this. And now, see, this is something familiar, isn't it? So, if I just add 1 to it, it becomes a cube. And once it becomes a cube then difference of cube we have learned so and how to factorize difference of cubes so that's what we are going to take the approach like okay so x cube plus 3x square plus 3x and then i simply add one to it right to complete the cube now you'll say if I, you add one you are changing the expression yes correct we are changing the expression so hence to compensate what do i need to do subtract that one from it Right? So, I basically added 1 and subtracted 1 so that it becomes same. Correct? And this was minus 7 anyways. Now, the advantage is that you see this is this becomes x plus 1 whole cube. How? Using this, this identity. And this one, this whole, this whole thing becomes x plus 1 whole cube. And this, this is minus 8. Now, could you sense something? Yes. So, this is x plus 1 whole cube minus 2 whole cube, 2 cube. Now, we have already learned how to factorize difference of two cubes, which is nothing but you take x plus 1 minus 2, then within other brackets, x plus 1 whole squared minus or rather plus x plus 1 times 2 plus 2 squared. Isn't it? Which, which formula, folks? So, a cube minus b cube by identity is a minus b a square plus a b plus b square isn't it so we use the same thing and then this is going to help us in factorization so hence x plus 1 minus 2 is simply x minus 1 and here what is it open up the bracket so x square plus 2x plus 1 x plus 1 whole square will be written like that this will become 2x plus 2 when you open this bracket up you will get these two terms and then plus 4 is it? And it's a matter of first simplification. So x minus 1 and square term is only 1 and 2x plus 2x becomes 4x and my dear friend 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7. So this is how the factorization would look like. Okay. So mm, yep. So x minus 1 x square plus 4x plus 7 so i checked it also it's absolutely correct okay so what did we learn learning is it might not be resembling our standard formats but you have to be observant and you can see that uh, you can you bring it to some kind of known format so what did we do here we just brought it to the cube format and difference of cube format and difference of cube we know how to factorize 